Hello citizens of Primary Nation of Hanover, welcome to the Frontiers of playing Ruben Salas for Extended Vanilla Experience mod. Uh, let's continue. <laughs> Just without uh, further ado. We lost anti-coalition against Salzburg, because we have a truce with them now. I believe Austria will leave the coalition as soon as the, the his war is over. Because he likes me. There's no reason for him to stay in it, in the coalition, that is. This guy's still friendly. Yep, Köln got annexed. That's a bit unfortunate. We do need Köln. We do need it. He's allied with Hainaut. And they've got the same dynasty, if I remember. No, they don't. Okay. Ah, Royal March from Bohemia. Good, good. I almost forgot about it. Bohemia's been a bit of an uh, on edge in terms of relationships with us, but it seems that he's actually all right now. The once your provinces modifier is pretty f unstable, but we almost got rid of was not given occupied cores, cores and claims in peace, which is, well, you know, it's good. <laughs> and we did that. Our coalition is slowly shrinking, very slowly. Very slowly. It's going to go away eventually, though. Okay, our diplomat died. That's a bit unfortunate. We can replace him with a new guy. Or we can choose one one of our three available traders. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I kind of prefer the diplomat for now. Nation of Air started... Didn't they already start to become westernized at some point here? Hmm, maybe it was Yao. I'm not sure. You can see actually quite a bit of stuff. I like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're building stuff, something in Nuremberg? Yeah, we are. Okay, we're building a Star Bastion. I need to keep an eye on this Star Bastion. It will be finished in a couple of months. What's going on here? I can't see Australia, which kind of bo bothers me a bit. But, oh well. What can you do about it? Castile is colonizing this area since Muscovy is getting absolutely, utterly destroyed by rebels and peasants. Moscow is actually under control of Lithuania. I was, sh I, w I actually thought Novgorod would seize the opportunity, but it seems like he can't. Livonian order left the coalition against us. Good, good. He's friendly now. All that nice stuff. There's captain both military and diplo points now. Um, it's not going to happen very often because our new duke is kind of eh. The next one is all right. The sum of his points is greater than some of the points of our current guy. We can get in mission, incorporate, rule the seas. For five prestige and ten navy tradition. Make sure that nobody has more heavy ships than we do. I mean, it's doable, I just need to build 10 more heavy ships. But do I want to build 10 more heavy ships is the question. They won't fit in my force limit. Uh, protect against Great Britain. What requires to have 12 more troops? Nah. Incorporate Clev. I might do that. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. First, I need to integrate Köln and Frankfurt into Klev, probably, and then I'm going to integrate Klev itself. So these missions suck. Let's try to get some different missions. Could donate state land to the church or seize it. We might as well seize the church land. Let's just not do anything with the church lands. I don't really care about them. They're kind of eh. Oh, I should keep in mind that we have the abdicate option. Not that I want to abdicate right now, but just in case. It, it's always there. Almost got these last ideas in innovative. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff over here, you know. Can't, uh, can't deny it. Cannot deny that. 
Just need to wait until our relations improved with both Mecklenburg and Thuringia, and then I'll probably go for an annexation. Lower Saxon homogeny. Oh yeah, speaking of HRE, reform the Hofgericht has been passed. <clears throat> Which is a pretty good reform for the Emperor. It starts it starts to get much, much better for the Emperor instead of the members. Like in here. Uh I'm just checking the messages here. In here, it's good for the members, and it's slightly better for the Emperor. Good for the members. Slightly more better for the Emperor. This is like Emperor gets five times the bonuses plus something on top. And this one is just... This one is actually, like, you can say that 15 base tax is... It's better than one diplomatic reputation, because... Well... In this case, however, bureaucracy gives us plus 15% tax. That's almost like one idea, and then you get something, like... You open some other idea group and you get plus two here, right? And you get plus one in diplomatic. So they're... Nah, I don't know. It's questionable. It's pretty questionable. This reform is very good for the Emperor, is just what I mean. Speaking of which, let's just, just, would you just look at all that? Bohemia is undisputed ruler. Although, you know, there are no other Protestant nations they could possibly vote for, really. Who could they vote for? Croatia? They're not going to vote for that. Looks like Tuscany exists. Luca has unfortunately been unable to get rid of it. I mean, get to keep it to keep it, because the wars with Spain. I guess nobody's helping Luca in their wars with Spain. Nobody important, at least. Croatia is not strong enough to take on Spain, even without lucky nations. Oh yeah, also, we are now first in score. <laughs> uh, this looks like a pretty, like, intense war here. Keep, keep, keep fighting, guys. Are you not entertained? Ah, slaves abolished. Good job, Holland. You go. He rivaled me, however. A bit sad about that. That's not cool, man. It's so not cool. I'm actually almost considering getting the alliance with France back. He... He's rivaled Great Britain, Ottomans, and Lithuania. And he doesn't seem like he wants to expand anywhere near Germany or HRE at all. And if he does, well, I'm going to pick Bohemia again. How big is his army? It is the largest army in the world. But my troops are better. Oh, damn it. I forgot to build something here, did I? <laughs> Let's some, build some trade buildings first. Yeah, sure. Lose 50 diplo power. <laughs> I'm capped anyway. <laughs> Looks like Magdeburg is losing a war. That's very good. Especially if, it, if he breaks some of his alliances. That would be beautiful. Beautiful. I don't like him staying in the coalition. I like that in vanilla you cannot enter the coalition if your aggressive expansion against the target is less than 30. In this case, he would not be able to stay in the coalition because of this. Because he's got minus 18 only aggressive expansion. Dictatorial Republic, eh? Elected representatives exercise absolute power over the state. A royal marriage has died. Of course, the emperor is still the emperor. I'd like you to offer me a royal marriage, to be honest, because I can't. <laughs> Three point one every year, Jesus. That's a lot of legitimacy per year.
Hey, our new missions. Insult Lithuania. Well, I took it, but then again... Well, I guess I can complete it next year when we take the tax. Yeah, I'll do that. Because right now we're just wasting power points. Because we, we can't get any more. <laughs> we're capped. How's our tradition doing? It's decaying slowly. But, you know, we can't do much about it. We only need Frankfurt, Köln, Altmark, Anhalt. That's it. We need these four cities to form Germany. Everything else is already under our control. We, if when we annex Mecklenburg and <clears throat> Thuringia, we will have basically all we need. But then, we will also have a border with Bohemia. Which is a bit of a shame. I hope he does not turn <clears throat> hostile on me while we are with the same dynasty. That wouldn't make much sense, although maybe it would. Who knows? European European diplomacy was a bit fucked up back in the days. <laughs> Alright, so far he likes us. And we helped him, and there's a lot of trust between our nations, I'm pretty sure. Yep, trust plus 20. Just for a vassalization. That probably means more for alliance and stuff like that and call to arms. You could check it, but I'm a bit lazy. <laughs> Just a bit. <clears throat> Just with Salzburg and Nitro is over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yada yada. How's this war going? You've been fighting it for a long time now. Wurzburg left the coalition against us. Good, good. You better stay out of it. Hesse entered the coalition against us. Well, I guess I'm gonna send a diplomat over there and fix this issue. We could do it. Yeah, we got only plus 25 for improved relations there. Okay. Improve. Couple more prom couple more uh, months, and we'll be able to incor incorporate our vassals. Very, very nice. I think he's going to be. I think we're going to kick him out of the coalition. How big is it? It's just Hesse, Magdeburg, Ansbach, Bavaria, Austria, Milan, Poland, Lithuania. Yeah. I think I didn't forget anyone. What about your vassalization? You're too big for that, eh? Get plus 10 for royal marriage, but that's not going to matter a whole lot. Perhaps dismantling the Holy Roman Empire is the way to go here. But I really don't want to do it. At least not until I form Germany and become substantially more powerful. Alright, we can start annexing people. Let's do that. Simultaneous annexation. Go! Gotta piss off all of the HRE by doing it, but... <laughs> fuck it, let's do it. Okay. This is actually going to be completed faster, despite uh, this one having more bonuses to it. But, oh well. Yay! Technology! Technology! Fortunately, did not Diplo. Very, very sad about that. Royal Mortars are now unlocked. Get so much cash. It's insane. I want this. Universal education. I think our next idea group should be... Um, 
I could go influence, but it's not really that useful anymore. If I picked it earlier, it would have been useful. But now I'm already annexing all of my vassals. Well, two of my vassals. And after that, I think I'm going to go for the normal core conquest way. Plutocratic, I think, is going to be the way that I'm going to pick. More infantry combat ability, more trade, more manpower recovery, more unrest reduction, more production. All the things I want here are present. And then we could also do stuff like... Um... I don't know, this, these policies kind of suck, but no, no, the Education Act is pretty good, advisor costs, take from the masses, yeah. How about this one? Does that have any yearly army tradition? It does, expand the cadet corps. Not a whole lot though, not a whole lot of army tradition boost. <clears throat> It's very hard stacking army tradition in this mod, I guess. Cannot blame the developers. Army tradition is just so good. You should not be able to easily stack it. Oh no! Vienna has been occupied by Nitra. Production or inflation? Let's get inflation. Sure. You got some, like, crazy reduction to it. <laughs> very, very nice. Aspiration for liberty is up. I still don't know how to trigger revolution in this mod. I don't even know if I want to trigger revolution, to be honest. Oh, it looks like France has landed over in Great Britain. <laughs> yeah. That's a good sign that Great Britain's getting screwed. Kinda. Second, second. I don't like that. Development. Uh, guild hall. Sure. Build it. Take a look at this. Hanover. Portugal has more trade than us. Hmm. How come? More merchants. Ah, yeah. He's got this bullshit thing where he gets... Merchants for colonies. I hate it. Well, we're still getting most per month, so that's good. It's gonna take a while before France manages to overtake us. We're ahead by 200 points. That's pretty good. Yeah, the nation can overtake us in one category, but I don't think they'll be able to overtake us in all three. <laughs> I don't think France has that many colonies, so they can't overtake us in diplomatic ideas, uh, diplomatic score. New guy in Frankfurt. It's also going to lower our diplomatic reputation, which is uh, a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Next in however, will decrease distance between borders. Not for Aachen, but for Frankfurt it will. Then we could annex, or uh, vassalize annex Frankfurt and w without taking the aggressive expansion for going into HRE. Eh. Oh, we're finally starting to lose diplomatic power for annexing people. That's very good. <clears throat> Uses five diplomatic power per month. So two years and we'll be done annexing Turingia. Should have enough points for that. Definitely. Oh, you didn't call me into the second war with Nietzsche, Bohemia. Do well, you think you're good enough? Probably he thinks he's good enough. Magdeburg has is having some issues. Ooh, a noble for House von Lambach. Oh, that's oh, probably because of this royal marriage. Salzburg entered the coalition against us. Salzburg, come on, man. What are you doing here, buddy? Recompensation. This event is so much better now. I don't know when they changed it. 
but the fact that it's no longer minus two stability or minus one stability and a ton of cash is just I can't describe it with words it's so good all right guild hall will be finished here in August this year and we'll start building up our production I guess and military and then we can build a manufacturing and it will be a fully developed province already you don't have to build navy stuff there. Come on, Mecklenburg. Build up your provinces. You're kind of slacking over here. Oh, he started converting it. Ooh. Tough call. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. We'll see, though. He did convert these. Kind of want to... Kind of wish Poland would lose these cores. That would be very, very nice. And maybe we could expand into Livonian order, get some stuff there. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind, he's allied with Sweden. Don't want to fight Sweden. I don't want to fight my allies. Relation with Hesse lost the rivalry to be with Poland because he stopped rivaling us. We're losing enemies left and right. I don't know what's going on. Poland left the coalition? Am I hearing this right? The very Poland who I took provinces from left the coalition. Huh. I guess he's really, 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 really got hurt by all that nonsense we caused to him by taking this. I love looking at this reformed everywhere or in like a lot of places. Kind of wish that this didn't happen. And this... Looks like mines get conquered by Palatinate. Yeah. That sort of thing happens from time to time. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> oh, it's time to put a cut in between new episodes here. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again next time.